Hey everybody, it's Kathy from Create with Kate. Today I have a design team project. Um, Sherry over at Studio 28E has accepted me as one of her design team members. And the first thing I decided to do was this um, Kate Greenaway kit. Now Kate Greenaway was a famous illustrator in the 1800s. She illustrated children's books. Mother Goose was one she did. She also wrote her own books. She started out with doing greeting cards and you know when they just first finally first started coming out and some of her early Valentines sold 25,000 copies in one week and that's just amazing for that you know back then brand new thing and uh, you know wasn't money abundance and uh, she sold that many so that's just a testament to how how beautiful her illustrations really are um, to make this journal I used a recycled book cover which I have not done before and I've done a hollow back spine which I've never done before and I'll show you that when I get it open here um, on the cover I chose to mat up one of the pages that was in the kit and I um, put some uh, the gold metal corners on there to just kind of you know draw your attention into the the illustration here uh, on the spine this was on the back page of this and I just cut that out and put it on a little mat to um, have as a book title on the back and there's the back which is plain so let's get into it. I chose to use a sari silk tie for this journal. Um, I dyed it with um, some of my inks. I think it came out really pretty. Really, really blended well with the with the colors in the in the fabric cover that I did here. So we'll open it up. <coughs> First of all, I have got here a little folder and <clears throat> and excuse me inside I've got the information all about Kate tells about her childhood you know starting out with illustrating um, her accomplishments and uh, just a lot of good information about her in this in this little few sheets of paper this paper here is um, my sister-in-law bought some, a bunch of strawberries and brought us some, and some of them were not quite right. And I tried some things I saw, of course, on the internet, and apparently after strawberries are picked, they don't get any riper. So I thought, well, I didn't want to throw away the ones that weren't quite ripe, so I made a dye out of them. And that's what these papers are right here, and they smell like strawberries too. <laughs> so in here I just got a little belly band with uh, a couple of pictures of her in here. This was um, on the back of the front page as well with, and her name was over the top of this little thing so I thought I'd make a little belly band out of it. I thought it was pretty cute. I've got, um, let's put that back. And this is, little hat is a paper hidden paper clip. I saw on um, G. Kerr's Happiness and Crafting, and it was just the perfect time because you'll see in here all the little bonnets and things that she always drew on her, her children. So I just have that in there, and then I just tied it up, and I've got a little, little girl here, Charm Dangle. So for the hollow back spine, I chose to use a file folder. I doubled it up. Um, I sewed it together in zigzag, uh, added lace to it, and just glued the lace onto the front of the folder for here. Um, in between each of the signatures, I just zigzagged where they were at, just to add a little interest there. And here we go. So I've added some lace and some um, white crochet trim to the signature covers on here. And here I've just got a little light stamping. I've got a fussy cut from a flower book. Over here I have an envelope and um, inside are 
some little snippets from the kit. And then the cap just tucks right behind that little circle. And goes right back there. She has such beautiful illustrations in here and parts from her her books that she she did write. This was a little part of the kit too, so I put that on the side of the page. A little stenciling there. Um, here I have a belly band and a couple of journaling cards there. Did a little stenciling over here. Got avocado dyed paper, uh, the scrap paper. This is a um, <coughs> tag I got from Happy Mail. And it's just a little ABC paper here with like whimsical writing I thought would go nicely. And I just um, glued this little circle belief tag down here at the bottom just to help hold that down. We got another beautiful page from the kit. Here I've got a pocket and I've got flowers there. And I put a little bow on there with some bling. And then we got some pretty little girls here. Just slides down in there. Over here I've got a dictionary page. Um, it's avocado dyed. It's on a piece of lace with a butterfly. And then over here I've got a belly band with another one of these beautiful illustrations in it. And there's the back cover. It's so sweet. Um, over here on the side I've just got a little um, cluster that I've done. Got another fussy cut flower here for the journaling card. A little bit of another cluster. This just flips up and this flips up. So you got a little hidden writing space in there. This is just a couple of die cuts that I added in here. More of that beautiful illustrations. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to help him or tossed him in. I don't know. <laughs> And then a uh, beautiful illustration and a little journaling tag right there. Little stamping, and this was a die cut I got in Happy Mail. I thought that went really well there. There's the back of our first signature. Here's our second one. Um, got some illustrations on there. And, of course, the, the lace with the crochet trim. Got a little cluster over here. A little bit of stenciling. Look at these bowls of flowers. They're so pretty. A little, little real pale blue with the polka dots. I think it's just gorgeous. On this side, I've got a pocket. I have another fussy cut flower that I just stuck on the page there. A little bit of um, stenciling, light stenciling there. And this is just uh, one of the envelopes that was in the kit. I cut the sides off and uh, made it into a little booklet. And that just wraps around there and goes right back in this little pocket. That avocado dyed paper. <laughs> These illustrations are so cute. Five little girls on there, so I did a little cluster here and I put a, a die cut number five on there. Here I got another one of these little flips for hidden journaling. A little fussy cut flower. Look at this. So pretty. Got some die cut flowers here that I did with watercolor. First experiment. Um, got a, I got work to do, but I was pretty happy with them for the first time. Got another die cut of a tree here that I got in Happy Mail. And I've got another belly band with two little girls. Another piece of that trim that's in the kit. This is just a sticker I stuck up here on the top of the page. Here I've got a pocket. Um, I got a little velvet bow on there. Got a library card in there. And this is a little belly band that holds this closed. And when you open it up, you've got a little box with some little snippets from the kit. I thought that was really cute. Little origami um, box there. That's the first two. So, yeah, lots of firsts in this one. That just sticks in there. I've got a uh, fussy cut here. 
with the word beautiful with it. And then, whoops, missed one. There's one of her illustrations out of her book. A little sticker down there. And then there's the back, that other page. Got some light stenciling here. Another illustration from one of her books. Here I've just got a butterfly with a um, little piece of lace behind it. Over here I've got a pocket and I got another one of the little bonnets in there. It looks very similar to this one. And uh, just a journaling card that goes in there. Here we have a belly band and another illustration at the beach there and a little light stenciling beautiful flowers on the back of that page and the third signature here um i just have a little sticker on the front of that with my lace and my crocheted trim little whoops got a pocket here with a journaling card look at that walk in their little dog that's so sweet and Got a, another flower fussy cut here, a little bit of bling, a little light stenciling. This is, um, I think this was a tag that was in the kit. And I um, did a die cut tag out of some um, real thin corrugated card stock, cardboard from a box. And uh, I just, I thought that would fit in there perfectly to do a little... Um, little frame around it. Got a little cluster over here. Another page out of one of her books. This beautiful tree with the roses. Got this one here. She's got the little wee babe there. Got some uh, rose trim at the top and just a little lace down at the bottom of it. Another little belly band with a um, piece from the kit. This, she had three different long strips of um, lace fussy cuts in this kit. And so I, I used that one there. Here I've got the five little girls again. A uh, little bit of sheer ribbon on the side. This is a hidden paper clip I got from Happy Mail. So I thought it went really well. All the little flowers. A little cluster over here. Some light stamping sticker on the dictionary page, and that's a um, just a label. And down here, I have a die cut and a sticker on there as well. A couple more of those die cut flowers. This is another little hat paper clip, and what I've done is I some of the um illustrations or you know the covers of books that she's done I put in here so that's the mother goose this is her book language of flowers this is one of her books the book of games and this is another one of her illustrations here and then this just opens up for extra journaling space Over here I've got a pocket, a little girl sleeping in her chair with those little rose trees there. And a vase of roses here on a tag. More of her book. And this is another um, hidden paper clip I got in Happy Mail with the other ones. It was, wasn't Happy Mail, it was a uh, paper clip, altered paper clip exchange. So, but these are just are going perfectly with this here. And another one of those little strips. Got over here a little light stenciling, a uh, die cut, and another sticker. Another page out of one of her books. Here I've got a corner tuck, and um, I've got two tall tags in there with bows. And here we are at the back, and uh, I've got my library card. I finished this on March 23rd, and for my library pocket, I may, or card pocket, I should say, I may used um, 
that's um, homemade paper I did a really, really long time ago. And uh, I still had some little scraps of it left. I thought, well, I can make a little, little pocket for my library card out of that. So that worked out really well. I hope you like this journal. It was really fun to do, and it's really, really beautiful. The illustrations are amazing, and uh, I'm sure the camera is not picking up just how pretty these are. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by today to see what I've been doing. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're doing well here. My husband and I got our first uh, COVID vaccines yesterday. So I have a sore arm. He's fine. Other than that, so far so good. So we're okay. And uh, I hope you are too. I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed. And if you um, haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. And I'll have more coming. Um, and I just really appreciate everyone so much and all your beautiful comments and, and likes. So, um, seriously, very, very much appreciative. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and beautiful weekend. And take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.